Hello friends, my name is Malek and welcome to my channel. I have received some comments on one of my videos related to the Traform HTTP backend for recording TF state files. It seems they are having issue implementing it. You can watch that video through the link above. Today, in this video, I will show you how to do it in simple way. Stay tuned. I have this simple code. With this simple code, I wanted to deploy a VPC network on GCP cloud. As you see here, I have a Traform block for implementing GCP plugin. Also, I have a provider block that define my project and in which region I wanted to deploy this VPC. Finally, I will use the resource block to implementation VPC network. So let's go into this terminal and click new terminal and here just run Traform in it it will go and download the plugin to let this computer communicate with GCP cloud. So run Traform plan to see what will happen. As you see, it will go and create this resource on GCP. So let's apply. Yes, it's done. If I check it on GCP console, you see VPC network created here. So here you see there is a file created here. It's called Traform TF state file. This TF state file is like a database and all the resources that have been created on one of the clouds that we are using are here. If I apply again, you see nothing will happen again because as it is written here it will go and create this vpc network and as we did it once before and all the information related to that one recorded in traform tf state file don't let it to create it again so this file is very critical for us. If another employee or another workmate wanted to do some change on this VPC, for example, want to change the name of this VPC to another name, how he or she can do it? At the moment, this Traform TF state file is on my computer. If my workmate wanted to rerun this code, it seems these resources not created and will go to recreate it again. Let's do a test. For example, I am another employee. I don't have this TF state file here. Just let's rename it. So let's run it again. Look the output. You see it wanna go to create another VPC network because it doesn't know about the existing VPC network. So what we can do to solve this issue? Let's redo this one. Just type here no and here just back it to the normal one and run it again. So it show us there is no change. It means the VPC network is exist and no need to recreate that. So for prevent the issue that I showed you, we need this TF state file be shared with my workmate. How we can do it? This one will solve by backends. There are different backends. For example, we can use S3 backend. In a state of recording 
the TF state file on our local computer, it will go and record it on AWS S3. Or we can use another backend, it's called HTTP backend. In this tutorial, I'm going to use GitLab HTTP backend. So in a state of save and record TF state file on my computer, it will go and save it on GitLab server. So every workmate that, that has access to this code automatically, when do a change, automatically has access to HTTP backend. So how we can do it? Let's go into GitLab. Here is my GitLab account. I have created a repository. It's called TF backend. From the left side, if I go down and going to operate, you will see transform state. So we can record our TF state file here. Let's click it here. At the moment, there is no TF state file here. So if I click here, it will show you how to do it manually. How to do it manually. In the first line, you see, you need to create a GitLab access token. So let's close this one. From the left side, click on your user icon and click on edit profile. Here from the left side, you see access token. In access token, just you can add new token. Define every name you want here and click on API and it is enough. And then create personal access token. I have already created for myself here and saved it on my computer. Let's back to repository. Click here and select the repository I have created for this tutorial from the left side going to operate and transform state again and click here. So the first step done, we can run this one in our terminal and it will create an environment variable called GitLab access. Also, we can create a TF state name as you see trawform.tf state file here is the name of the file in http backend you can select in which name you want to save on gitlab for example you can select this one trawform or you can select everything you want let's back to gitlab here you see by default selected default name you can change it then for initialize, you need to run this command. Okay, so let's run this one on my terminal, ls-latr. You see, here is the current tf state file. So I wanted to use HTTP backend. At first, in code, we have to define it where here in Transform block just using this keyword backend. Which backend? Here you see list of the backend you can use in project. So as based on our subject, we are using HTTP. That's enough. Just we tell to Transform, hey Transform, please go and record this tf state file for this project where on http server where is this http server it's on gitlab how we can define here just run the command that you saw it here so let's run this one copy in terminal what's the token and let's back to commands export tf state which name we wanted to define it here let's change the default 
to gcp project let's copy the command copy this one from here to here and paste in terminal just enter it will go and initial the new backend please read this message carefully do you want to copy existing state to the new backend at the moment we have created vpc network on gcp and all information about it is recorded where in tf state file so here ask you do you want all the information from this file copy to the http backend we have to type yes look here everything initialize and all the information here no transfer to the http backend let's check let's close this one refresh this page look here gcp project save it here let's destroy it draw form destroy it will go and destroy this vpc network from gcp1 yes it's done and vpc network deleted from gcp cloud let's verify that refresh you see it's gone so in this short tutorial we learn how to use gitlab as http backend thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe like and comment your feedback thank you see you soon